Well, when I auditioned for the film, I first sent in a tape. And I was honestly like, I'm not going to get this. That's what I thought. And I had seen the 1978 film, I Spit on Your Grave, and I loved it. I had seen it way before I auditioned. And I felt connected to the work, to Christy, and the words on the page immediately. It wasn't like I had to try to be this character. And I believed in the theme of the film, um, you know, what the film has to say about uh, women and men and our society. I was so moved by it and I loved how real it was. And I loved how I Spit on Your Grave in the 1978 film approached the subject matter in such a way that didn't sugarcoat it, didn't gloss anything over. And I think that's why some people criticize the film. They can't confront it, they can't face it. They can't face that this is the world that we live in. And I believed it, it was a, a look at, you know, our society in which we live, the, the difference between men and women. Um, and I could relate a lot to the film. I love Camille and I could tell her anything. And I know she could tell me anything because, you know, we opened up to each other immediately and it wasn't like a connection that we had to try for, you know, which was beautiful. Working with Mayor um, has been amazing. It's amazing to watch him work and how he thinks and um, he's so uh, sympathetic towards women and um, you know, I know a lot of critics in the past have criticized him for being a misogynist. This film is, is not misogynistic in the least. In fact, it's the opposite. I see this as a feminist film. Mayer just creates these amazing characters that are interesting to watch. There's nothing like it. And I think these characters, uh, people will remember.